Hey guys, this is Matt Corr from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna to revisit an older subject. And that is blending from a faceted surface into a smooth surface. So if you haven't watched this earlier video and I'm gonna link it in the bottom of the post, watch this first. This is where I'm gonna show the technique. But it's one of those things that just works better with more practice. So today's video, I'm gonna give you a way to keep practicing this. Now, if you take a look here, I've got Google SketchUp open and I've made some simple faceted shapes. Nothing fancy. Now I'm gonna export these simple faceted shapes right into Photoshop and we'll start painting over top of them. Now in the previous video, you saw that I primarily used a flat brush for this. Well, right now I'm not gonna use a flat brush, I'm gonna use a round brush. But really, you can do it with any kind of brush you want. The important thing is making those smooth transitions from one surface to another. So here I'm using a hard round with a bit of texture in it. And I've got my flow set to about 50%. So to get this going, I'll just be making new temp layers, sampling, and painting a little over the edge. So to go between these two facets, I want to create sort of a smooth roll off. So I'll paint gently with one color and then select the color from the opposite face and paint it back in the other direction. And what I get is sort of a nice middle transition. Pretty quickly that looks much more organic and realistic than it did when it came out of SketchUp with that hard line drawn there. And how you want to transition between these faces is up to you. Let's say I want to make a much more gradual slope between these next two faces. Well, this might actually be better with a airbrush. So here I'm going to make almost like a ski slope down here. I've made a new layer and I'm painting in the same process, although this time I'm doing a much more gradual transition. It's going to take a further amount of distance to transition from one plane into the next. And I could even give it a little bit of a highlight. So I'll select the color there, move it a little up in value, and paint that in there. And I'll merge all those layers to together and mask away what I don't want. What you're looking at here is a 3D model, and this is a little bit different from the example I gave in the previous video. But when you have circles inside of a 3D model, sometimes they come out more like 10 or 12 sided faces. And probably your painting doesn't want to have that in it. So it's a good idea to get rid of those sorts of obvious faceting. And you can do that in the same way, just sample and paint. And maybe I want to have a little bit more of an edge transition here. So I'll make a new layer. I'll select an airbrush. And I'll give it a little bit of a highlight where the light catches this bevel. Erasing away what I don't want. So here you can see with just a few minutes of blending and smoothing, I've taken a pretty rigid object and smoothed it out a bit. In a way, I'm sort of mentally sculpting, giving it a different shape than it had originally. But all the values that I put in place were based off of ones that were already there in the initial render. So I'm going to attach this image at the bottom of the post, and you can try smoothing out the rest of it yourself. And really, you saw that what I made was just simple shapes inside of SketchUp. So if you've got SketchUp, make your own. This sort of blending is incredibly important, so give it some extra practice. Have fun, guys. Thanks for watching.